is known as the toughest man in the world, presenting Andrew the Brick Wall Sosa! What's up my friends? How y'all doing? This is your boy Sosa Pons coming at you with the chapter 80 full summary of the Dragon Ball Super manga, Granola vs. Gas. Now, I apologize about the audio quality. I am out busy running errands and didn't get a chance to bring y'all the breaking news out the fastest because it was up early in the morning whenever the info came out. So, <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to do, but I want to bring y'all the breaking news just in case y'all were still interested. I should be coming out with art later on if they release it. If not, I will be the first one to bring y'all the chapter like summary and narration when it releases after uh, 10 a.m. Uh, in my time in the USA uh, for Thursday, the 20th of this month, which it usually releases on every time. So hopefully y'all enjoy this video. Smash that thumbs up, like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and all so you can see all my future content. Share this around with everybody that you know and leave a comment, support the messed up YouTube algorithm. Smiley face, algorithm, comment, it all really helps out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Chapter 80, Summary Part 1, Gazrus Granola Part 2. Chapter starts where the previous one ended. Gas is enraged by Granola's attacks. Gas increases his key and goes down to the ground to fight Granola. He says that he can see how he can now see all of Granola's tricks. Gas is once again learning while Granola is learning too. Granola's had some advantage, but the longer they fight, the more Gas can actually adapt to his newfound power. So he should finish it off pretty quickly, but technique doesn't really work like that. So it's unfortunate that, you know, Gas is still a skilled fighter who can learn stuff and pick up stuff on nearly the same level that Granola can. But I'm sure Granola has something good in store for us. Let's continue. Uh, Gas increases his key and goes down to the ground to fight Granola. He says that he can now see all of Granola's tricks. Gas attacks Granola, but Granola manages to move faster and avoid all of Gas's attacks. Cool. Granola kicks Gas, but he resists the attack, although he is still angry. Oh, cool. Oil says that even though Gas is more powerful, he still loses in ability against Granola. Maki says that it's not the end yet because Gas is still standing. Well, of course it is. It, you never know what might happen. Anyone can get a lucky shot. We see in the UFC and stuff all the time. So uh, I really like how they're handling this kind of fight. You know, you once again showing technique can beat you know raw power, just like Cell versus you know the ultimate you know Super Saiyan uh, Trunks. You know that super bulky form. I like it whenever they do stuff like that. It's actual martial arts. So let's go ahead and continue. Gas and Granola attack each other several times at the same time. It seems that Gas little by little manages to see Granola's movements more and more clearly. And Granola seems tired. He's already getting tired? He had the Sensu and he's already getting tired? Like, uh, whatever. All right, whatever. Maybe there's more context. I don't know. Vegeta says Granola is taking too long to finish Gas off and Gas is getting used to Granola's attacks. Yes, exactly. He needs to finish him off quickly. I know it's hard, you know, especially when he's at a power disadvantage. Technique takes more time, but yeah, you need to do it. Gas finally manages to hit Granola with a hook to the chin. Then he attacks Granola confidently. Uh-oh, hit him right in the, de the dead spot. That's the knockout area, by the way, guys, the chin. You do not want to get hit there. That's where all the knockouts happen, not typically in the temple or stuff like that. Your head is hard, so it's good for protection. Make sure you check out my Muay Thai fights and uh, other professional fights. That will be linked in the description and first comment once you're done with this video, too, along with my other Dragon Ball content. Lots of good stuff for you all to check out. Let's go ahead. And continue. I don't want to rant too much. However, a gr a granola. See, the English is sometimes off in this one, so I do apologize. I will try to interpret it for it. Granola copy appears from the side and kicks gas. Another granola copy appears behind gas and kicks him to the sky. Cool. Multi form. Eight more granola copies appear in the sky around gas and start shooting key projectiles to gas with his fingers. Gas resists the attack and goes for granola's copies hitting them all okay cool he then goes back to the ground yeah they, they unfortunately they get the spelling wrong on this one whenever they do the translations i do apologize about that but i still appreciate them bringing out the info the way they do to us gas says that using a technique like that is stupid because creating so many copies splits the power too much we already knew this granola's copies try to attack gas who asks granola if this is a desperate attack Gas creates key spears with his fingers that pierce Granola's copy, copy's abdomens. Granola's copies are trapped. Uh-oh. 
Suddenly, original Granola appears right in front of Gas with his fingers charged with key. He was waiting for the moment when Gas could not de defend himself to attack him. Oh, so he was just using it to buy time. Well, that's the way you do it. You set your you set your your shots up. Wait for your opportunity. So, at least Granola isn't being he's not desperate yet. He's just trying to figure stuff out using good technique, good uh, combat skills. Granola cancels his copy technique to recover 100% of his strength and attacks Gas with a powerful key projectile. Cool. Gas goes through several rocks and is th thrown a great distance. Then Gas falls unconscious into a lake or slash river. Oil and Maki fly to his rescue. Cool! He actually knocked him out or at least put him down for the count a little bit. Awesome. Granola falls to his knees. Exhausted and bleeding. Goku wonders what's wrong. Vegeta says that the damage Gas has done to his copies also affects Granola's original body. Oh, that's super interesting. I don't know if that's how it worked with Tien or Piccolo or Krillin or anything else like that. That'd be interesting to do. I have to go back and research that one. I might make a video on it if it warrants it. So that that's pretty interesting. Maybe their different their copy abilities are a little bit different in that way. I don't think it ever happened with Cell that way, but Cell was holding back, so who knows? Moneto runs to Granola to help him, but Granola tells him to leave because the fight is not over yet. That's nah. good. I'm glad he knows that. Oil and Maki save Gas. Granola's attack has done a lot of damage to Gas. Yay, love it. This is a good fight. Alec appears behind him and then asks Gas what's wrong since it doesn't look like him. Granola is surprised to see Alec. Maki asks Alec if he formulated the wish correctly since Gas can't handle Granola. Alec tells her that the wish was made correctly and that Gas is the strongest warrior in the universe without a doubt. Alec goes, the problem is, Alec takes off Gas pendant from his forehead. Oil and Maki are in shock. Ooh, the pendant has something to do with it on his forehead. It's probably one of those Broly inhibitor chip kind of things. Oh, that's going to be super interesting. I can't wait to read the rest. This is all genuine first reactions. I haven't even read this myself. So y'all again, my genuine reaction. I know it's not scripted and might seem a little bit rough, but hopefully y'all enjoy the uh, hopefully y'all enjoy the actual like real genuineness behind my reading this because I get to share in my surprise with y'all. So. Uh, let me know if you enjoy that or not, if you'd rather me script it, but I, I like it this way, you know, it, not to mention it's a little bit, you know, less work, but I, I just like being able to keep it real with y'all. So he uh, takes off the pendant from his forehead. Alex says, it's useless for you to be the strongest warrior in the universe if your power is sealed. Now you can bear it. Release your instinct, Gas. Oh, instinct. Oil wonders if that is the right choice. Maki says Gas failed four years ago because of this and that he won't be able to control himself. So we're having basically a Broly situation right here. Interesting. Gas starts to lose control. Elect tells him to resist since now he's not the same as before. Gas energy is out of control. Then Gas flies away. As he flies, Gas body changes. His musculature increases a lot like the super saiyan uh three stage breaking his clothes only resist part of his pants um i don't know if he actually gets the form right on this one it could be super saiyan three but super saiyan three is more known for his long hair and lack of eyebrows he probably means the upgraded super saiyan uh, super vegeta kind of form that trunks did you know he takes it one step above the super vegeta phase that's probably what he's talking about although who knows i'm not sure you know uh, we'll have to see once the actual chapter comes out which is why y'all need to hit that bell on all so you'll be notified of it and we'll know what what it actually means if you got it right or not in addition, two big horns grow downwards from the sides of his forehead. They look like walrus tusks, but on the forehead. Ooh, I can't wait to see the art on this one. Ooh, boy, this is going to be good. Moneto is shocked when he sees Gas. He says that it's the same form Gas adopted 40 years ago when Bardock cornered him. Oh, super interesting. So he's familiar with this form. Uh, so part three. Moneto. Gas abandoned his own ego to change. Granola is in shock too. He can't believe that Gas kept an ace up his sleeve like this. So basically, it's kind of like a Zarbon. You know, he doesn't like going into that form because it messes with his ego and his looks and stuff. Interesting. Uh, interesting callbacks. And I like the way that Derek should do in the callback. It doesn't seem too pandering. Gas attacks Granola, who dodges the attack at the limit. However, Gas manages to grab Granola's leg and hits him with an electrical shock. Ooh, cool. I, I like this. This is an interesting fight. This is going to be really cool to actually be able to see all the artwork and stuff. I know I've said that a million times already, but I'm really liking the way that they do this. And who dodges the attack at the limit. Ah, uh, yes. 
Then Gas slams Granola to the ground and throws him into the woods. Granola gets up, but it looks like his eye is injured. Uh-oh, that's not good. He relies on that a lot. Gas grabs Granola's head and slams him into the ground again, but this time Gas pushes him inside the ground. Ooh, like manhandling him. Goku and Vegeta are astonished at what's happening. Gas gets out from the inside of the ground in the back of Goku and Vegeta. He's still growling, holding Granola's head. Oh, interesting. Gas gets out and gets out from the inside of the ground in the... Oh, behind them. That's what it means. Gas throws Granola to the ground. Granola can barely move. Then Gas lands at Granola's feet and starts pu punching him in the face with violence. Maki is paralyzed. Interesting. Why is Maki paralyzed? Or maybe just because of the look or something like that? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. But Granola can barely move. And Gas lands at Granola's... Uh, and then Gas lands at Granola's feet and starts... Oh, that's what he means. He's doing ground and pound stuff. Sorry, the way that they, you know, uh, formulate the sentences, it's kind of hard to understand. And I want to bring y'all a clear picture. There's ground and pounding him. Even, you know, just like in the UFC stuff. Goku says that they must do something or Gas is going to kill Granola. Vegeta asks Moneta what Bardock did to stop Gas in the past. Moneta says, I'm sorry, I lost consciousness and I didn't see what he did. Maki and Oil arrive where Gas is. Maki tells Gas not to destroy everything and he must stay conscious. Gas stops for a moment but then releases Granola and hits his brothers. Then he starts banging his head against a rock. Ooh, he's turning on his own brethren. Uh-oh. Elec also arrives. Oil and Maki tell him that it's useless. Gas has gone crazy. Elec tells him not to worry, since the strongest warrior in the universe also has the power to control himself. Does he, though? Does he? I don't know. Elec, yeah. <laughs> Gas flies out again. This time, he attacks uh, Goku and Vegeta. Gas kicks Vegeta and slams him into some rocks, and then he starts punching him. Goku tries to defend Vegeta, but Gas stops his punch. When Gas looks at Goku, he remembers something. Oh, he's triggered by the Bardock memory. Ha <laughs> ha. Looks just like him. A little flashback starts with the last moments of Gas' battle against Bardock. Bardock looked at Gas just like Goku looks at him in the present. We see that Bardock is injured and his armor is badly damaged. I cannot wait to see what the rest of this flashback actually entails and how he ends up beating Gas or taking advantage of his, you know, lack of self-control. That's going to be so awesome right there. But let me know y'all's thoughts. Any prognostications that are officially called in the comment section, I will give a holler to in the next video about this stuff. So. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'm really hyped about this. I'm really enjoying it. Some of the stuff that, you know, Toriyatara has put out, you know, hasn't always been good. Like, they messed up the whole space saying, saying that they couldn't survive in space when they can't. Toriyama has directly said that they can and all sorts of other stuff. He hasn't kept good continuity all the time. But I like what they're doing with this one. I really, really enjoying it so far. The good back action battle scenes, technique, all that good stuff. Martial arts kind of dream chapter. So hopefully it continues going good in the same direction. Let me know what y'all think about this. Like I said, do all that stuff that I mentioned before. Subbing, bell and all, liking, sharing, commenting, all that good stuff. Consider joining my memberships. If everyone was due to do the lowest amount, I'd be able to do these videos full time and be able to bring y'all even better quality content even sooner. So there's lots of cool perks on there like early access to certain videos uh, and you know special Discord group messages, all that stuff. So consider joining that. Just your consideration would be appreciated. And that's basically it. Thank you for listening to me rant. Follow me on my social media platforms too, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Links to that in the description and first comment as well. Getter, Rumble are also on there. They're definitely important to follow on those. And if you don't want to join, if you don't want to support YouTube or you know do a membership deal, there's one-time donations like a tip option uh, on the YouTube screen and other Venmo, K PayPal, Cash App. Link in the description, first comment as well. But that's that's it. Thank you for listening to me rant. I'll see you all later. Peace out.